hydration break, don't put it in your nose. What more could you want from life, really? Tracker barrel trek. Oh yeah, these things. I like these barrels. Uh, hello, hedgehogs. Yeah, get out of here, you. They just auto shoot you. So you kind of have to, you know, position yourself correctly and time stuff. They're fun little barrels to play with. Up we go. Secret? Yes, I thought I remembered a secret over there. Collect 70 stars. That is a lot. My man. Why so many stars? I guess they're watching down the waterfall from up top, but that leads to the question. Why are there so many stars on top of the waterfall? world may never know. You found yourself another bonus coin. <laughs> Get out of the way, B. Buzzsaw Bandito B. Okay, that's where we came up, so we go this way. Beat up some hedgehogs. Yeah, go! Woo. That wasn't that hard, but it felt hard. No, okay, nothing there. Yeah, you. Ellie. Drink some of that water? Not really drinking it, just... Now, how is it that a chimp junk jumping on this thing, this oversized crocodile and he's just like eh, eh, come and get it whereas you shoot a little bit of water and he's like oh, no! like is he hydrophobic oh you, that guy sneaky dude at the end there or is it like you're just being a jerk and you're like, like okay that hit him in the foot so it doesn't really work for my example but like he's coming and he's like oh i'm so strong and you're like Floop, and he's like ow my eye i thought you were the heroes why are you shooting me in the eye i mean we're heroes but we still are monkeys and or apes I don't know what rules you crocodiles play by, but... Bleh. Out of the way. Trying to get a nice little nose drink. <laughs> Hydration break! Don't... No. <laughs> Hydration break? Don't put it in your nose. Just, you know. I don't know. We're, we're moving on from that. And I'm just gonna go, like, maybe you're you're shooting that water out really hard, really fast. Like, it doesn't look like it, but, you know. You'd think it'd be moving faster, but. You know, the, maybe the PSI behind these shots is, you know, like a potato cannon or something. Not enough to be like a bullet, but it's gonna hurt getting shot at point blank range. Yeah. Oh, it, I don't know. His bananas confused me. I thought there was something else. Um, oh, you're gonna, okay. So I guess we just stand here. I hope it bounces. I off-screened it. Still do this, but this time. Okay. 
There we go. That's the way you do it. Up and down and ow. And just skip it all. Invincibility frames, take us home. Oh, it's big time for another weird boss. No. Yeah. Kind of green. Got some spooky music. Yeah, this guy, he's following you around the whole time. And he starts getting angry when he gets hungry. Now, he'll eat those guys, but he's not a fan of the spikes. He gets angrier. So you gotta keep him fed. Uh-oh, wrong side. Go over there. Now, the, he gets a little weird. <laughs> also, I like that he's burping. He's there just like, we use this, you know, we came up with this boss that uses a burp sound effect. Where else can we stick it in this game? I don't know. Make a fish that wants to eat you. He can burp. Or maybe they did it the other way around. They're like, all right, we have this underwater level. Fish is chasing you. You gotta feed him. He's gonna make burp sound effects when he eats, right? Oh, of course. Everyone likes that. Oh, uh, but we don't want to just use it for this one level. What else could we do where people will notice it? Let's make it a boss. How about the first boss? Uh. Oh, 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 that's close. Ooh. Close indeed. Um. Nope, nope, don't, don't worry about those guys. Yeah, see, clownfish are much more agreeable to your palate. I know, you like eating the urchins, but eh, they're just not good for you, man. You need to, gotta change your diet. Um, ooh, ooh. Get real mad, there we go. Yeah, that'll help. Okay. Um, you... You. Now, one of these has a... I don't remember which one. One of the urchin things guards a uh, another bonus barrel. Clown fish. Uh oh. Thank you. Please destroy this enemy for. Oh. It's fine. It's less fine. Um. Oh. Okay, not there. And then he gets. Okay, not there. Yeah, yeah, you think I do while you're at it, sure. Yeah, now we get plenty of fish. Let's stay on this side. Stop trying to get any fancy ideas about what to do with these urchins. Ow. Okay, so that's just the G. But... There we go, there we go, there we go. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, maybe here? Uh-oh. Not that one. Okay, we'll leave, see if I can leave that guy here. Yeah, eat this guy. And now you're unhappy because your tummy's upset, so just eat a clownfish. It'll make you feel better. All right, not the first one. It might be this one, because I'm fairly certain it was up, not down. Yeah. Oh. Right. Oh, I barely saw that guy there. Mm -hmm. It is a little tricky. 
getting him to the correct spot. Just because yeah, he, he's always behind you, but he also kind of goes up and down. And yeah, you can't get close because you touch the fish, it's over. Not like the hardest game ever invented. Bonus minigame in a video game, but not exactly the easiest. Alright. Let's find ourselves a DK coin. I wonder where it could be. We have the ending right there. Ah! Another boss, Squirt's Showdown. So Squirt doesn't hurt you directly. It just sprays this water around. And... You just have to dodge it so that you're not shoved off into the abyss. So again, mechanically a cool boss fight, but what? Okay, first guy was belching, second guy was sneezing, this guy's spitting. But also, besides the fact that he's all like on you. What? That was going around again. It is, it. Like, it it's a snail, but, or, you know, a crayfish, crawfish, crawdaddy, wherever you are locally, your particular version. Um, but it's like part of the rock? Anyway, that works. Do that again. <laughs> It's, it's weird. It's but you know, it's keeping up the thing. Fun bosses, but what? All right, time to go to Mechanos. Fireball frenzy. Yeah. Why are there owls shooting at you? I don't know. I mean, I guess because, like, they've got good eyesight, so they're, you know, like, the sniper, but... Pretty cool song. Not as good as the, like, Oil Drum Alley from the first game, but... Yeah, here comes that guitar. You know, this is a, this is a cool song. Not exactly sure of when. I guess I could find out. It's like before it hits, it's like right before it lands is when it kind of comes into being. But I, it looks sort of like after it bounces, it's then foreground. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Owls, why are you shooting at me? You'd think the owls would align themselves more with the, the Kongs than the Kremlin. It's like, crocodiles want to eat you guys. You don't want to eat you guys. You just want to eat some bananas. I mean, you know, they, they eat a lot more than bananas, but... You get my point. Okay. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm following the banana trail. Bananas say jump. I jump. Hmm. Hello. Uh... Okay. 
No squitters. Mama didn't raise no squitter. She raised the Kong. <sighs> Ooh, okay. Enough bad jokes of punning the name Squitter with Quitter. We have stuff to pay attention to. Hi. Okay. Let's say, what do we have over here? More bonus. Bounce. Probably want to be Dixie for this, a little more mobility, but it's working. So yeah, after they bounce up, you can go behind them. So that's good to know. Bounce. And like, yeah, this is a cool concept of like stuff from the background shooting into the foreground that you have to dodge. Oh, it's... As I said, there's a lot of fun stuff in this game. It just does not blend together cohesively, which I think makes it a... You know, that's why it's sort of not a beloved classic the way other... You know, the first two games are. All right. Ba -ba -ba. One, two, one, two. I have pattern recognition. Out, in, out, in. Ah, now you do it backwards. Okay. Ooh. This one's just straight up harder. I get, you know, it's just running past three things. It's not hard, but that is hard dirt. Uh... Okay. Bad right then. The first level of Mechanos is done. Bazooka's Barracks. Morning, Dixie. Brigadier Bazooka here. All present and correct, I see. Marvelous. But, I'm, um, but... I fought in the Crimean War, don't you know? But I've retired from the service along with Big Bessie. Who's Big Bessie? She's only the biggest and greatest cannon of all time. What a beauty! You want to use my cannon, young Dixie? Not without some sort of ammo, I'm afraid. <laughs> all present and accounted for, except the toddler I'm supposed to be watching. He was kind of... He, he, he took damage in action, sir. No. Alright. Bounce. Boink. Boink. <laughs> uh, ow. I mean, that's what she said, so yeah, I guess. Banana? That looks like a secret banana to me. Oh. And we passed uh, Kitty's temper tantrum, and I didn't say anything about it. There it was. I talk so much about it, and then I just gloss on by. Probably because it's not actually, like, that interesting. It's just, here's what he does. It oh, I needed that. That was my secret banana. Secret... He got the, the respect he deserved, letting him throw his full temper tantrum and, you know, more to the point, secret bonus banana. Yeah, okay, you should pay attention. So there's one of those. And you do this. There we go. Final. Yeah. I done bash the baddies. Okay, I think there's another... Like, there's a hole in the ground you have to fall in to get another bonus, I think. 
Um, it sounds right in my head. You know, something like that, but it's a bonus barrel in it. Let's see, I'll just kind of chill near the ground. And... Hmm. There you go. I test one is wrong, and then immediately we get the right one in. Yeah, all right then. Kind of like a bash the baddies, anyways. All right. Um. Uh, what? 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 Slow down, there, Dixie. I can't. Yeah. I don't know that I can do this without Kitty Khan. We need him to, like, make that jump. No, we don't. I'm a liar. Dixie's a champ. He's like, heck yeah, I've already done a whole game with Diddy Kong. I don't need Kitty to help. Yes, you do, but for that, no, you don't. Ripsaw Rage. Oh, yeah. This kind of puts my anxiety on edge. Like, I'm just, I mean, I'm doing this and I'm like, Ugh. There's something about, like, auto-scrolling with something chasing you that feels different than just an auto scroll. Because, like, you know, you play plenty of, like, Mario levels where it's just auto-scrolling the screen. And it doesn't feel like... I would say oppressive. That's not the right word, but, you know... It doesn't feel, uh... So much like, you know, the, the being chased. And even though mechanically it's sort of the same thing, but... It's coming, and if you don't move, you're gonna be in trouble. You know, the edge of the screen is coming for you, but... When it's, like, an actual object you see on the screen coming for you, it hits different. It... it... I do not like it. It makes me nervous, and I'm like, Ugh, go, 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 go! And on is the same way, like... Think about, uh, in Donkey Kong Country Returns, there's the level full of, like, spiders or creepy crawlies or whatever that's like a wave of bugs after you. Which, again, just fun, you know, functionally is just the screen is scrolling, but it gets the nerves on edge. For non-Donkey Kong Country things like, uh, in uh, Spider-Man X-Men Arcade's Revenge, the Doom Ball after Gambit. You now just just having a thing chasing you. I needed that. Well, we can just do this. We can invincibility frame our way to bonus. Okay. I wonder how many of these you need. Like, do you have to get every single one? Because, you know, clearly you can't come back down. Well, I missed one. Hopefully that's okay. What? Where is it? Woo! That was close. Okay, so you can technically miss two, but I would not advise it. I thought for sure, I was like, oh, okay, there's one more, and then I'm like, there, there's not one here. Did it, like, appear below the saw? And then I thought it was over, but... And then I saw that one, I was like, okay, we got it, but... <sighs> Level. DK barrel going now, and... That just puts you right there, all right. Oh, I see. Well then, I guess it's good that we uh, ended up getting killed. Uh, here I guess. Yeah, bounce it over. Hmm. Throw it up. 
Yeah. Well, that's how you knew it. Blazing Bazooka. That's not how you spell bazooka. Um. Hello. You look funny. Did you know that? Uh, he didn't like me saying he looked funny, I guess. So they're not really blazing. They're just shooting barrels. Ew. Yellow green acid? No good. That's even less appealing than the molten... Like, the molten steel or whatever is in that... What? Oh, squitter. I have... Oops. I needed that. Ah, I see. <laughs> wow, I didn't even take damage doing that. Uh, that's kind of funny. It's like, oh no, I don't know where I'm going. And then I find where I'm going, but oh no, I destroyed the barrel. And then I'm like, okay, well, I get the barrel, but I'll take damn. No. Nope. We just, uh, wait, it was find the coin, wasn't it? It wasn't bash the baddies. What's that? Well, I hope it wasn't bash the baddies. No, it wasn't. Okay, weird. I don't know what that guy in the front then was for, but... Say la vie. Now, what happens if I go back to the no squitter thing? I am lost. What happens if I go this way? Is this the way I'm supposed to go? Ah, I see. Yeah. Got to... Switch it. Eh. There we go. Fun stuff. Alright, so we could just go this way then. Yeah. Use this freaking barrel cannon. But, um, okay, regular barrels instead of TNT. I mean, that sounds good. I guess because you could bounce across them if you uh, didn't have squitter. It does make me wonder what that other no squitter sign would have given you, though. Well, I guess we'll never know. What? Oh, nice. Like that. No, 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 I was just... Now, there's all this goo, right? This melted stuff. Huh. What's this? Ah. Do you think maybe the reasons they're here is because they're operating the... Blast Furnace? I'm not apologizing for that one. You can deal with it. I might not be able to deal with this... Find the coin level, but you can deal with my bad jokes. You're like, I can't deal with your bad jokes. Well, too bad. You have to. You have... No choice in the matter. I mean, I guess you do. You could stop watching. That'd be no good. But if you're watching me, you probably love the bad jokes. Uh, 
Love might be too strong a word, but... Hey, you know, let's change the subject. Take a hydration break. I thought you were the heroes. Why are you shooting me in the eye? I mean, we're heroes, but we still are monkeys and or apes. 